Okay guys, welcome back to Chaos. I have a riding mower on the trailer I'm gonna go sell. And then I'm going to, once I sell that, I am going to be going um, to buy a car. So I pretty much already put $100 down on this car. Hopefully he actually gives like this loyal, you know? But um, he marked it as pending, so that's a plus. Uh, the car is pretty cool. It's an oldie. It's a, uh, I say oldie. It's a 1988. Um, let's go get this thing sold. Right on the GPS. Road. So I'm going to Wilmington Island. I'm not sure if anybody knows what that's at. To drop off this mower. And once I sell this mower, I can afford to buy the car. <laughs> yeah. Spending money before I actually have the money. That's how I do it. All right, let's get into it. Expressway. Yeah, it's some nice scenery out there, but you guys probably can't see it. Going over the bridge over one of the waterways out here in Wilmington. But, damn shit, bumpy. Ah, fuck, that's too much rocks. Alright, so we're almost back to where that car is, so I'm gonna go get that car. The mower's been sold. I'll give you guys a total of what I spent and everything on Continue the for whole one mile. build. A lot of road work, so I'm kind of swerving a little bit, but hey, it's fine. Phone's not in my hand, so you know. All right, guys, here. This is the car. Check it out. It's pretty cool. It's gonna need a little bit of body work. It's got like a dent here. It's got some dents, but it's not too bad. It runs. We're gonna have to go through the whole engine and make sure everything's good. Do an oil change. Probably change the oil pan gasket. Want to take it for a drive around the parking lot, Jordan? I do. Okay. I really do. You might. I might just let you drive that home. You want to drive it home? See uh -huh. if it makes it. If not, we'll just load it on the trailer if it dies. <laughs> I'll drive the van. <laughs> you want to do it? Okay, that works. All right, Jordan. See if it makes it home. You ready? Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> downtown Savannah this is Bay Street it's a very tight fit especially for semis I'm trying to squeeze through here I'm hauling my trailer behind me so that's fine oh shit you can see how close we're getting here I don't want to know how close my trailer is this is not fun <laughs> it's opening up right up here so yay 
and we caught back up. So, it made it home. Jordan, so how did it run? It was, it died a couple times, but that's because I, it, the temperature got a little higher. But okay. It started up right away, and once you got going, it cooled It cooled down, so it probably needs a thermostat, or it might be low on water. That's why I think or it coolant. It might need some coolant. It might, he might be running straight water. Pop, pop, the, pop the hood, we'll see. After it cools down a minute, we'll check it. Look for leaks. Maybe. There it is. The engine don't feel too bad. She's a little warm, but not too bad. Yeah, the hose is really, really tight. Thermostat stuck. Yeah, I bet your thermostat stuck, so that's why it's overheating. That's probably why it's running like doo doo. Yeah, that is. Um, so now since we're here, I'm going to check under here. Yeah, it's got the. It's like carburetor, or is that fuel injected? I, uh, it's probably thr like a throttle body, so yeah, it's like a the beginning of the fuel injection era. Yep, there's your throttle body. So it could literally. Oh, it says Holly. That's adorable. <laughs> it's a Holly carb. That's funny. Look at that. It says Holly right there. Oh shit. Holly one barrel. Uh, that is the tiniest. That's like EFI. Yeah, tiny. fuel injected. Oh, it does say EFI right there. Okay. I looked right past that. <laughs> That's that is kind of cool. Yeah, All right, so we'll go through it. What size motor? 1.9 liter. Cool. That's why I thought. It's adorable. It's tiny. It, it looks like a tiny. fairly new alternator. What's the next car you're driving to work? What? Somebody asks, what, what's the next car you're driving to work? I'll give his things if we can stop it from overheating. <laughs> we'll drive this one. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably one. go get it tagged and insured because we're probably going to keep it. We're keeping it. These are actually going up in value. I love it. We'll and I looked it up online. I fell in love with it. The, the average one is about anywhere from five to a thousand dollars is what they're selling for on most places. What but most of those aren't in quite like aren't in it this good of condition. condition. This one, it's like I didn't think it had any yeah. rust or body damage. Well, it's underneath it. I didn't think it but it does have some rust right here on the door, which I could probably fix all that as long as it's not rusted through. It's like it's been spray painted right here. So I'll just go through and work this dent back out. 80s yeah, but and then there's a little dent right here, probably from a tree branch or something, which I'll just fix that out. And there's a little ding right here. But overall, it's a pretty good little car. Is it running? The engine running right now? Nope. Why is the fan on? I couldn't tell you that. Is the key in the ignition? Okay, that's Please weird. Keep off. It won't come out. Uh, it's probably got the little button underneath. Yeah, it does. Come here, I'll show you. Here, hold the cam. There's a little button over here that you can hit. Okay. To take the key out. I, I was sure. I've never really dealt with that system. It's still it on. on afterwards, so I, it might be a fan issue. Ah, true. The fan just kicked on, so it might be like the fan's not kicking on. It's all just wire that up to like a toggle switch or something. So you put the fan on and cool it down. It's got an electric fan, which is pretty basic for these. But it does work. I was wondering about that. You really saw that fan too, so it's yeah. working pretty well. The fan's well. working great. Once it cools down, we'll check the thermostat. We'll check the coolant on this. Yeah. The radiator looks fine. Oh. Cool hot. That's why transmission. Ah, oh, I think the power steering. That's weird. Okay. If your power steering dipstick looks like this, you may want to go to a doctor. I was a mechanic. That'd be funny. Hey, I ain't a comedian, alright? I'm a mechanic. <laughs> it stops well, though. Does it stop pretty good? Yeah. It is making a tick, tick noise in the back wheel, so it's probably like the brakes need adjusted or might not, the brakes might not work in my rear wheel. Oh, you were hauling, you are going like 75. On the highway? Yeah. yeah I, was, I wanted to open up and see how it felt. 
You're going pretty quick, so. <laughs> I wanted to experiment. You got a brand new van. You drive me like, oh yeah. The tires are really I was literally cool. driving this thing one-handed. These tires look brand new, guys. They, they, they just cool down, apparently. A car we don't know. I was driving one-handed. So these <laughs> tires are super meaty, but probably not going to be keeping these rims and tires on here. I'm My just kind of hunting around. I have some four lugs rims sitting over there. I'm, they're like 17s, low pros set up. So. 17s might not fit on this thing without spacers. We could we just stuff it, you know? <laughs> and I found out they make body kits for these. So I may uh, so put the body kit. It? Yeah, look at that bumper. It's got that little squeeze thing. Like if it hits, it just presses. That's weird, man. <laughs> Old school design would have made to last. Yeah, 80s. They're made yeah, to withstand some. The, like, that's when they were worried about the crash and compact cars and all that. That's when they were going through that whole phase. And it's like, so they were sacrificing looks for safety. Which, now, have fuel. you seen the safety ratings of most newer cars? I'm glad they did that. Most newer cars you are the safest. Yeah. Someone, yeah. I saw a picture simple. recently. Appears these they went underneath the semi. These. I don't care about safety. safe. I care about looks. Safe for you, but not the other cars you ran into. Yeah, this is. No, <laughs> if I hit something fast enough, I'm probably gonna go through that windshield. <laughs> now I'm gonna go back to. I don't care though. We got this car. The mower's sold, and I gotta go back and finish installing the radio on Maul's car. And then I got an estimate for painting a hood on a car at three. Is that thing done? Almost. I've got to finish the. It, there, it was a lot. More. It was a lot. Uh, so I went. I popped the hood. I heard a vacuum leak. I was listening. listening oh no! And there's a hose. It's got a big crack in it. Mmm. Yeah. So I'm replacing that hose, and I gotta get the fuel filter. Everything else is pretty much done. When you hooked up the bad. But anyway, back to these. Yes. This thing. I don't know what, what we're gonna call it yet. <laughs> you have this little hatchback. Yeah. I might keep it silver, but a different type of silver. I love hatchbacks. Oh, oh no, yeah. No, no, no. Me and Steven always talk. I about love hatchbacks. I think it's a great it's one. Fun. Adorable. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss we'll names. Discuss okay. Well, yeah, we'll but I'm it. leaning towards silver surfer. Silver what? Silver. Silver. Cyberpunk. Yeah. Think about go. Yeah. We have already yeah. Because that's. Let me. Let me. Let me look. Yeah. Let me show you. Let me show you. Yeah. Let's take a look. Who has that? Yeah. But that was working. It just popped off. Oh, it needs a little clip. Yep. The clip. Some are probably in here. Oh yeah. The melting snap. What happened? Yeah. Like a little metal clip that latched in there. So I'll just go get a new clip for it. That's fine. We'll just sit on there for now. I've been looking at this thing. It's actually got the original. Yeah. Take the camera. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. look at this thing. It's got the original spare tire oh, set up. Wow. What's the year on that? Do I want to know? Or did they replace it? So, from the sounds of it, it sounds like uh, this is like the, we're the fourth owners technically. Yeah. From what, if I can remember what he said. So he said he got it, the, I don't know how to read the guy got it from an old guy that barely yes. drove it. And then that guy sold it to him. So it's got super low miles on this thing. That's another reason why I bought it. I wasn't planning on paying eight hundred dollars for it because like these cars are turds in my opinion. But I like the way they look. Oh, oh there we go. Oh yeah. And it's got according to this fifty one thousand miles on this car. Nineteen eighties cars. A nineteen eighty car, eighty eight with. 51,000 miles that is and I believe it if you look at these the title actually has it. the seats are plot like really clean It's a clean car. Look at that. The only damage I see the horn But it, it does work and the dash is cracked which I'll probably either replace or repair the dash the door panels look amazing These seats are so comfortable It's like what the heck? I think those are more comfortable than the van seats does the radio work? That's the real question, Jordan. Yes. Really? I have my phone connected to it. It's an aftermarket. Oh, they put a Bluetooth radio on it. Hell yeah, so I don't have to do that. Oh, there goes my It's a Pioneer, too, okay. I want to put a big screen in it. Does, it, okay. does the face come off? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's an older Pioneer. The face cover comes off so nobody oh. steals your stuff. All right, well, let's go. <laughs> Horn. It's got a horn, yes, sir. All right, guys, we're gonna end the video right here. Hopefully, you guys liked uh, this little chaos adventure. We're gonna hit that like button, subscribe for more videos on this because we're probably gonna keep it. I don't see selling unless I get a good offer for it, but because everything's for sale, in my opinion. Yes, Steven.
-hmm. Somebody gives you 50 bucks for you? I'll take it. Yeah, I'm going to say I'll 50 bucks. So everything's for sale. I'm for rent. Any price. <laughs> 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 okay, with that note, you guys hit that like button and subscribe. I mean, okay, Jordan's still scrounging. What's got he got? The operating guide. Oh, 1988. The owner's guide still. Ooh, so we know how to change oil. Yeah, totally. Actually, these tell you how to do all types of stuff, man. These old ones. Yeah, they'll probably tell you how to adjust the valves. Uh... Maryland vehicle inspection report. Oh, wow. They had to get inspected? Cheek. The past inspection, that's a good thing. They probably Tells just spot the guy like a 50, you know. We're going to do a video on that. The old me yeah. user manual to the new, new one. Compare, see what yeah. they say. What? Yeah. It's like take to your mechanic. Take to your mechanics what that's going to say. That's going to tell you. That's going to tell you, oh, uh, this is how you fix it. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why do you think I love old school? 80s and hey, cars, yeah. But it is a cool, yes. ugly car. All right. All right.